Good day everyone, I had a subscriber, hopefully they're a subscriber, ask me a question. Basically each time they go into FL Studio, um, they might have set up uh, the mixer here, we're looking at the mixer screen, and they might have assigned uh, each of the tracks to these knobs, and basically they want to keep those settings for next time they come in so they don't have to go through all the hassle of reassigning everything. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I'll show you in a, in a second here. We'll go a little bit further than that also. Um, because, for example, um, if you're in the uh, channel rack here, I'll bring this over. Just keep this in mind. Um, when you open up FL Studio, there's some basic settings that it might come up with. And here I added the, the uh, DX10. And say, for example, I could also add in the, uh, the Styrus. Uh, I'll open that in a new channel. And so there it is. And let's just pretend for a second that, you know, these are the basic instruments that I use for the majority of my work. So we might as well begin by getting everything set up with the things that you usually use, okay, before we move on. I'm just going to move that over. Now, so you go through the hassle, and I'll show you really quick how to assign things uh, to the knobs here for the tracks, if you want to use them for tracks. You can use them for other things, too. But for example, if we want to use, let's say, let's set up the uh, track one here. So you would right click on it with your mouse, then go link to controller. And then just as a quick test, you can go like this. And so this is now linked. And we're all set. Now what, we, what you'd normally do is you'd go through and again, go to your next one, highlight it. Uh, right click on the slider and say link to controller and if you want two on there or the second knob here that's how you do it so it's linked so now we have one linked and two linked so you know you continue on in that fashion but also don't forget you can also you know again this all depends on what you're doing and what your style is but say we go back over to here to this track one and you could click on the panning button right click link to controller and for whatever reason you know we could use the third knob so you can see that moving there just highlight it there with the mouse okay so you could do that and then of course you know you might have some more detailed things you want to do and you could right click on here this is the stereo separation you could link that to controller and use your fourth knob so this again it all depends on your style and what you're doing because uh, when you go in to do a full recording you can you know dynamically adjust things very easily using four knobs on that one track if you want if it's something specific you're doing or you know just set them up uh, as a mixer for all the all the different tracks. Um, again, there's eight opportunities, so eight you can do eight things with it. Depends what you want to do. I'm just kind of like doing something a little bit just to show you the capability. Um, if we look here again, you know, just for this one. I mean, normally people just set this up on the mixer on the volume, but I mean, you could do something like this. Um, but there you have it. Now you're saying, well, okay, well that's all fine and dandy. So how do I get this next time that I open up FL Studio? When I open up a project, I want these mixer settings. Well, you know, there's really no really magical way around it. All you really need to do, and this is why you should, once you get up a, you know, once you get a standard set that you really like, you know, with your instruments and set up your mixer, stuff however you want it then all you should really do is go you know this is before you've created a whole bunch of work and music and stuff in there just get a get a base a core setting and then just go and and save it um let's go save as and we're going to just save it as um let's type it in here you know mixer template one's already there I was doing some testing right so I'm well okay I'm gonna replace it 
And then basically when you start a new project, you know, if you go file, new, there are templates that are available. There's all kinds of crazy things, but really, it's file, um, and you just say open, and then you go and find the one that you named as Mixer Template, open it up, and it's pretty much, it's all set for you. And then you would create and then, you know, of course, save it with a different name. Don't, uh, don't save it over your Mixer Template because, you know, you're going to have to recreate it then. But I hope you kind of get what I'm talking about here. It's very easy to do. This is the easiest way to do it. There might be more complicated technical ways to do this stuff, but um, this is what I found is pretty much the easiest way to go about it. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, come back for more. And um, yeah, if you want to get uh, it, put something in the comments. If there's something that you really are interested in or something's really giving you uh, some hassle, let me know about it in the comments. I'll try to address it. Take care. Have a great day.